uh, sekarang kita udah di uh, sesi 4 nih uh, sesi 4 uh, akan dibawakan oleh Pak Doni Rubi, uh, Rubia Gatra uh, beliau merupakan dari Elite Product Engineer dari Zero One Group uh, beliau akan uh, membawakan materi mengenai understanding Node.js performance using open Dremel. Oke, okay. uh, selamat sore Pak Doni. Sore, sore, sore. Okay. Dengar suara aku nggak? Jelas ya? Oh, jelas, jelas, jelas Pak. Oke, okay. uh, waktu dan tempat dipersilakan ya Pak. Oke, okay, uh, uh, terima kasih atas kesempatannya dari Kubernetes Community Days Indonesia 2010, 2011, 2021, sorry. So, oke, okay. first of all, I want to thank you to everyone that joined in my talk. Welcome. So, I'm agree to deliver this talk in English. So bear with me with that. So I also want to say it's been a long time since my last conference back in 2019 before pandemic. And okay, let's let's get it started about uh, this talk. Okay, once again, hello, my name is Dunir Begatra. And today we are going to, we are going to talk about understanding Node.js performance using open telemetry. This talk is not about how we set up our infrastructure for distributed tracing but mainly understanding how important observability is. I think this is a good start if you want to like start microservices. Uh, before you doing that, you must know how your application or service, uh, service uh, behave. Uh, and yeah, it's, 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 it, I think it's safe bet uh, to understand open telemetry. Okay, so today agenda. So uh, I need some introduction because myself and my company is relatively new. It's only three years old. It's actually this year, uh, it uh, become three years. And we, we need some branding about, about, about our company. Uh, okay, the second part, we are going to explore the definition of observability and a little bit history of open telemetry and why we need open telemetry to understanding our services. And the third one, we are going to define what kind of data that we need observability. And are you aware about this standardization of data? And the third part of this talk, we're going to talk about demo and what's next and also the Q&A. So, who is So, I working for Zero One Group back January 2020. I helped building a remote engineering team and this year we doubled the size of the engineers and we are proud of that uh, to put it simple zero one group is we are helping you to build a great product so instead of only software uh, that we created we built an ecosystem to help your product to success uh, we have like uh, consultancy uh, technical due diligence uh, technical advisory is under zero one technology uh, for digital marketing, content creator, brand strategy is under Zero One uh, Digital. And for me, I'm part of uh, Zero One Technology. So we mainly uh, build some products and research data analytics, uh, research mathematical modeling uh, that enterprise need. Uh, and right now, I'm as a lead product engineer. And for the next part, uh, for Zero One Technology, I think we are focusing on building product from Node.js ecosystem. Uh, previously, we use Clojure and Clojure Script in our workflow. We love functional, uh, we love functional programming actually. And anyone in here uh, already try uh, functional programming on the back end or front end? Please, please uh, say uh, you love it too. Um, but yeah, it's hard to us to scale uh, the team when we use uh, closure and closure script uh, so we migrated to node.js ecosystem and we also proud supporting opengs foundation by contributing on numerous projects such as uh, node.js uh, node add-on api festify uh, or uh, unity all the opengs foundation uh, projects that uh, we proudly support and I also individual supporter of Node.js Foundation, uh, JavaScript Landia. Okay, let's get start to the talk. The first one, so what is observability? Uh, to, to put it simply, observability is help you see what looks weird. So imagine uh, like on every, maybe on every 8 a.m. Uh, your service doing something weird, uh, throw some error, 
uh, what do you need to understand what uh, make it happen? So observability answer that. Um, so in term of uh, uh, in term of definition, actually observability is term of mathematical control theory. So once again, we as a software engineers uh, borrow a lot lot of term from another um, uh, another side of the jobs. So observability is measure how well internal state of a system uh, can be inferred from knowledge of its external output. So it's quote from Charity Majors, a CTO of Honeycomb IO. So Honeycomb IO is also provided service that uh, can observe your uh, services. Uh, and do you, uh, and anyone here already try Honeycomb? Yeah, it's, 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 it's good to try. So for the next, uh, so I, I'm still don't understand what, what is observability. So if you can imagine, uh, for example, banana. So you can tell where banana is unwrapped, not ready for consumption or the banana is ready for the consumption. So uh, as you can see on the left side of the scale is looks green, is unripe, and uh, towards to the right, uh, it will become yellower or, and, uh, and there, there is a, uh, a black spot in, in, in there. So you can understand how the state of banana only from its output. That is observability. So as simple as that. And uh, I, I put some not random tip actually, but yeah, the, the also the everyone uh, definition of observability. And uh, he is Baron Swartz, uh, creator of book MySQL High Performance Tuning. Uh, monitoring tells you whether the system works. Observability lets you ask why it's not working. So it's kind of difference uh, between uh, monitoring and uh, observability. So monitoring is not the same as observability. So why we need this? Because you know our system maybe become more complex, and I believe uh, at zero one group, uh, if 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 you watch previous uh, talk about the cloud native, yeah, we we use that approach that we we create the product. Uh, for the clients uh, that hope the product is success, not being complicated. So uh, is, if, if the product success, let's start to get some more complex for scalability and someone else. And when we talk about system complexity, uh, maybe software exponential more complex. You, you add more engineers, you add more uh, technology. It's really great for the products, but I think it's really hard on humans to understand it. The exponential growth of products is really great for users. There are so many options, but it's hard to choose one. So you can imagine right now the CNCF landscape is a lot. There, there is a lot of uh, things going on. Uh, uh, for maybe for storage option, there is many uh, possibility. For like a pop up solution, uh, there is a nuts and. Yeah, there is there, there is a lot of product is it's great for uh, us as a user. And once again, why it's so important because uh, it give more visibility, alerting, uh, better workflow, uh, less time in meetings, and you can say that engineers more confident to deploy or ship uh, our new features because it's accelerated developer velocity. We will know when a bad thing happened. So observability is important because it gives you greater control over uh, growing your complex system. So the question is why open telemetry? Uh, the short answer is we need to standardize the data. Uh, I don't know, back in like 2010, 2011, everyone instrument their data uh, by themselves. There are no such thing as standardization, uh, but how the data uh, that we need to observe. 
and I will, I will tell some uh, a little bit of story about open telemetry. So actually, open telemetry is a merger from open tracing and open census. So I was back in 2016. I I, I forgot what exact time uh, open tracing and open census was were, uh, but if i remember correctly 2019 they merged to uh, become open telemetry because open tracing and open sessions have complementary features so they are not contradictory and and in on uh, cncf uh, foundation it become uh, open telemetry and open telemetry answer this question how will we generate the data? Uh, yeah, that's that's the simple uh, simple uh, open telemetry uh, answer. And after that, so, so what exactly the open telemetry? So it's a set of API and SDK uh, tooling integration that designed for the creation and management of telemetry data, such as traces, metrics, and logs. So uh, to put on perspective, it will instrument your data, standardize it, generate the data, uh, collect all the data that you need and export to your exporter. Zipkin, Jagger, you can name it. Uh, it's it's uh, open uh, vendor or uh, agnostic vendor. And why? Open telemetry is good choice for you. It's, it's provided a lot of SDK. Uh, not every SDK is mature enough, but it's vendor agnostic. So you can configure with any backend. Do you want put on your uh, put the agent on your code, or you can put it on your VM uh, virtual machine? Um, yeah, it's full support variety of popular open source projects, including J. And this is only example of not GS or uh, yeah because in zero one group we use not uh, but you 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 really to try another language uh, SDK and uh, let us know uh, what's uh, uh, it's good or not okay the next part is the define to define not GS apps and service data so what kind of data that we need to become observable. Imagine if you visit Japan and there, there are a lot of uh, vending machines. We, 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 we will give, give some example in uh, what's the behavior of uh, vending machine, uh, what, what data that we can uh, explore or gather from uh, vending machine system. So uh, the data is called MELT. So, so what is MELT? So MELT is stand for metrics, event, logs, and traces. Uh, to put it simply, metrics are numeric measurements. So it's simple as like a CPU uh, use, uh, memory, or uh, just some kind of aggregation of the data. Uh, one minute time or events per minute uh, for the example, is the table on the below of the slide. So you have the timestamp, you have the aggregation, what kind of the data that uh, that produce, and yeah, maybe some mathematics. I don't know, uh, but that's kind of data uh, that represents uh, metrics. Second one is events. So conceptually. An event can be defined as the decreed action happening at the moment in time. So when we start our vending machine, maybe there is some, something event is going on. Uh, for example, at 3 p.m., a bag of barbecue chips was purchased for $1. So the event, it will uh, produce the timestamp, what kind of event, what kind of item, and what the value. So. Uh, it attach the metadata that you need, uh, what's going on with, with, with the event. And the uh, third one is logs. Uh, similar to events, 
log that is discrete is always produced in our application is not aggregated it's more granular than event and actually one event uh, can produce multiple logs so uh, let's uh, look through once again the example of the event okay uh, one barbecue chips was purchased for one dollar well, so what happened um okay user user press uh, user press the button b and then press the button forward and it will prompt uh, and we will select the stb chips and user prompt user to pay one dollar so you can imagine that yeah it is i think it is more uh more close to our as a software engineers we we rely on the log what's uh what's going uh, to happen in our application then uh, this is like just a, like a tiny part of uh, what kind of data that uh, we need to observe and the last one is traces so traces are stitched together from special event called span so i think it's really uh, to put it simple it's kind of several chain of uh, special events and the special chain of event and uh, gather and we call it span so if the vending machine using microservices uh, the, the the traces uh, as as you can see on the slide uh, the first span is 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 on the vending machine how it process after that after the vending machine uh, you, you you put some uh, payment what 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 chips that you choose uh, it will call the back end and the data uh, after that after doing some logic stuff it will call the credit card company like, uh, yeah the, the service the third party services and it will give back some data and it will issuing uh, the uh, the move from the bank. So these four uh, kind of data that we need to pay attention, how we can understand our application or our services. And okay, for the last part, let's get start for the demo. So yeah, please works. <laughs> I have I pray. Uh, for before 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 I going to talk, I pray to the God uh, to to make it works about the demo, and you can you can you can check it on our my GitHub repo, uh, but it's only the interesting part, and I want to give some note on the on the on the uh, JavaScript uh, Node.js ecosystem. I actually try to use the new SDK. Uh, to, to give some example uh, how we use uh, open telemetry uh, on JavaScript. But uh, I reached version one, if I'm not wrong. And there are a lot of uh, breaking changes uh, when when I use it. So, so when I use the new SDK, it's not what, what, it's not what I intend to do to, to the demo. So I, I roll back to the the like the last version that I already try it it worked so um, yeah for example on on that that the the uh, node uh, the node module is become SDK trace node uh, yeah you, you can you can search it right now and actually you took not I think it's not ready yet for not 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 GS ecosystem because I I I'm like yesterday I still cannot uh, reproduce what I need uh, for the demo okay uh let's look our demo just wait a minute uh okay so this is in my terminal uh this is my um uh let's see what happened in this repository so we have simple server on this I give some like express server web server. Uh, there is a, a endpoint of slash endpoint and dead endpoint and uh, listening on 8080 port. That's simple, right? 
and stressing the GS in here, let's see that uh, open telemetry provided as JavaScript SDK. So you can initiate the new uh, tracer provider in here and uh, register the provider. And you can, uh, for the first example, we just give some output on the uh, on the console. Okay, let's try it. So, uh, for example, okay. so for example, uh, yarn dev oh, sorry yarn app to run our program. It listening to local os eighty eighty. Let's do some curl. Uh, 8080. Okay, so on the right side of the terminal, you just simply uh, get some uh, get requests from uh, to the service, and uh, on the left side, you can see uh, there is a data that produced by Open Telemetry. Uh, the timestamp, duration, attribute is standardized on uh, Open Telemetry. Yeah, that, as simple as that, you can attach open telemetry on your uh, services based on your uh, programming language. And let's give some example. Uh, if you if we using Zipkin, so I already provided provided Docker Compose in here. Uh, uh, so let's check. Yeah, it's running on the background. The Zipkin. Uh, let's try your app zip key. So it's also uh, also run the express servers and run in local source 8080. But if you can see uh, the tracing zip skin, it has a zip can exporter to it. So we can add uh, you, you Jagger, um, Prometheus, all this, uh, all the, the gather for the information in here. So this is example if we using a zipkin. And once again, uh, on the terminal, we do some curve. Actually, it's just nothing uh, on the console. Let's try to use a zipkin local host nine four one one, and we run the query. Yeah. It works. Uh, it will uh, put the trace on the zipkin part. Okay, that's a simple uh, how we can add um, uh, the uh, the trace on 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 our application. And one more uh, one last time, uh, we gonna give some example of microservices. So in here, I provided dashboard JS and movie JS. So movie JS, yes, just just return the movies. Uh, what, uh, the list of movies and the dashboard yeah it's called the movie services so okay let's uh, let's start to explore so uh, we uh, we run app sorry dashboard at first and then the another service run uh, movie Yarn movies. Okay, the, there is two services uh, run right now, and then let's curl at HTTP uh, localhost. So we're gonna try dashboard. Eighty eighty slash sorry. D. Where is dashboard? Okay, three thousand. Okay, three thousand and one and dashboard. Okay, it's written because it's uh, it's uh, just only console look uh, what the data it give, and let's see through the zip uh, Let's find traces, run the query. Okay, there there is a uh, dashboard surface. So as you can see, uh, if if you start to uh, doing some microservices, I think open telemetry is a really good. Uh, choice to understand what's the behavior of your uh, service and it's really easy enough to to getting started okay i think that's it for 
uh, the demo. Maybe I'll present my uh, slide once again. So what's next? Uh, you can define the metric. So actually, the demo is only for tracing. You can define the metrics and and export it to Prometheus and try using Jagger, not only Zipkin. Um, Explore provided SDK on a respective language, and maybe for the people on the infrastructure, maybe you, you find uh, some way to make it scale uh, when we use Open Telemetry in our uh, services. And this is my resources uh, when I created this talk. All the blogs, all the documentation, I put it in here. If you curious what what I needed to to build this talk. And thanks. Uh, maybe I'll start to try to answer the Q&A. Okay, okay. Great, great. Uh, thank you, uh, Pak Doni, for the um, for the presentation. And yes, uh, we can start uh, one question from uh, two two question. Uh, first from uh, Mas Giri Kuncoro. Uh, he asked about uh, if I have a n number of like, GS services, uh, microservice or uh, possibly there are other languages as well. And can you share how can I use Open Telemetry to help me trace the call across different services? Ah, For example, okay. if uh, same service goes to service A, service B, and to service C. Okay, yes. for yeah, for Mas Giri, uh, yeah, actually. I'm not tried it before, but uh, technically it can, it can be done. So if my service A, I'm using Node.js, and on service B, I'm using, uh, I don't know, Golang. Uh, you can use the same mm -hmm. API, same SDK uh, on the respect language, but you need to give some of the service. Uh, the first one is the name of the service and the... Okay. Uh, which which exporter that we need to uh, uh, we need to address? I'm not I'm not uh, try it before, but I think it's possible. I'll try it later okay. today. To, yeah, to, okay, okay, okay. To, to provide. Nice. <laughs> okay, good. Okay, okay. Uh, another question uh, from uh, Rif An Amrozi. Uh, hey, Mas Doni, can Open Telemetry detect both crawlers? Oh, that's interesting. Uh, actually, Open Telemetry also provided, so you can put Open Telemetry on the browser. But once again, mm -hmm. I'm not really exploring that. Uh, maybe you can like check out what the headers or from the requests. Maybe maybe you can mm -hmm. you can like uh, doing some logic stuff on your code to to to. Uh, no, that okay. this is the bot, not 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 people request, uh, not human request the uh, the resources. Yeah, maybe you can try it uh, to put some logic on your uh, code. Okay. Yeah. It's about the behavior that uh, called the API. Yeah, like. yeah, yeah, yeah. We can define what kind of bot that uh, requests our yeah, yeah. resources, right? Yeah, you can you can you can differentiate what human and what uh, bot doing. Okay. Yes. Yes. Yeah, and the last because, one from uh, Irwan. Data, so yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. The last one from Irwan. Uh, this is why you choose Node.js to observe. <laughs> okay, the first one because our company uses Node.js. That, that's the simple. Hmm. Uh, that's the simple answer for the simple question. But if you okay. want to ask why Node.js, why not? Yeah, like the like like the facto is using Go on on the back end. <laughs> I think I yeah. think because our our company is, is more focusing on products instead of mm. technical excellence. We need to uh, build MVP as fast as we can, as as uh, uh, as robust as we can. Doing some tests uh, in the same language with the back end on the front end. So mm. we want to limit overhead to learn new language, uh, okay. but we. We never left the best practices like TDD, uh, CI/CD, uh, automatic yeah. deployments. Uh, yeah. We believe we, 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 that whatever your technology, if you do a uh, uh, clean code, it's, it's, it will be fine. Okay. Uh, last, last, last question uh, is from Kispi Al Bofari. Can the can open telemetry monitoring DB and DB 
Q Q process or Q process, process yeah. Mm-hmm. So uh, I just read the documentation like all the the the, the provided SDK, but not mm-hmm. tried before. Oh. I, I just I just opened the GitHub. GitHub. There there is a open telemetry for database. Yeah. But I never try it. And you can put open telemetry on the virtual machine. Uh-huh. So in, instead on the instead on the code level okay. code level, you can uh-huh. post it on a virtual machine. So oh, maybe you can you can like uh, monitor some process That's on your virtual machines. Okay. Uh, yeah. So I think the summary of this talk is to let everyone know that you need to understand your service mm-hmm. using data i think okay. that's that's my 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 summary of my okay okay, okay. Great, great thank you cool uh so i think it's uh enough time <laughs> for us and yeah. yes uh thank you thank you for uh, the presentation about the open telemetry on the gs uh uh mas doni and uh, have a nice day and enjoy well, the show you. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Thank you.